Hi, this is Don. Someone asked a question about this homework problem and I wanted to show you how to solve it using StatCrunch because you can do it uh, pretty quickly and easily uh, that way. Uh, we have this, this data. We've got a table of data. These are the uh, lifespans of 16 tires and uh, the manufacturer claims that the lifespans are normally distributed with a mean of 40,000 miles and standard deviation 4,500. You test the 16 tires complete parts A through C. So the first thing we have to do is to draw a, a histogram and use five classes. So let's do that first. I'm going to click on Open in StatCrunch. Okay, we have our data there. I'm going to expand this out just a little bit so we can see everything. First thing I want to do is get some descriptive statistics because I know we need uh, the mean <clears throat> and standard deviation a little bit later on, but we need these descriptives to set up our histogram properly. So I'm going to go to Stat, Summary Stats, Columns, and our data is in variable 1. I want to click on N. I want the mean, variance, standard deviation, range, max, min. I want to hold down the control. Whoops. Go back there. Shift key. And let's make sure I've got everything in. Max, min, range, median. Yes. Okay. And I'm going to get it to store it in a data table to make it a little bit easier. Hit calculate. And now we've got our data there. There's the mean that we need for later on in the, the question, uh, the variance and the standard deviation, which you'll, you'll need as well. Okay, but well right now we want to set up this histogram, and to do that we need the range, which is nothing more than the, mean, the min minus the max, but it figures out the range for us, and we want five bins, so let's calculate the width We'll do that. You can use your little calculator, but I'm going to use the compute expression here in StatCrunch. Build an expression. And the first thing I want to do is to take the range, double click on that, divide by 5, which gives us the number of classes it says. And I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to call this with and click on compute and it I'm gonna close these out it gives us a width of 45 10.8 when we're doing histograms we always round up we always use integers we never use uh, decimals so that would be 45 11 so now I just go to graph histogram and I want to select my data which is variable one I need to start the bins at the minimum value, which is 24,599, and our bin width again is 4511. And it's important again that you round up uh, or you'll get a funny looking histogram. Click on compute, and we get uh, our histogram. It's nice, uniform, looks like a bell sh curve to me. And let's just compare with the options there. And they plot the midpoints, which I didn't have, but we're mainly interested in the shape of this histogram. And we can see it goes 2, 3, 6. I'm just going to check that out. 2, 3, 6, 3, 2. So yes, that's our histogram there. And let's, I'm going to close this down for a second and the next question is is it reasonable to assume the lifespans are normally yes because the histogram is symmetric and bell shaped and then we want the mean and the standard deviation and I'm going to crawl back up my stat crunch here there's our mean 36,007 miles point one Standard deviation of 6249.8. And then the last part is 
Compare the mean and standard deviation of your sample with those the manufacturers claim. Discuss the differences. The sample mean is less than the claim mean, 1,000, and he claims that the mean is 40. And so on average, the tires and sample lasted for a shorter time period. The sample st standard deviation, 6249, is greater by quite a bit than the standard deviation of 4,500 miles. That means these tires have a lot more variation in the uh, lifespan. And so that's how you do this problem. So I hope that helped.